let's get to it. Most people are probably like, I need to make the most amount of dollars possible to be happy. And you're like, nah, man, like mm-hmm. I got to, you know, like set things up. So I really am happy. Um, I would like to hear about that experience. What went into that? And were you really financially secure? And that was an easy thing to make. Were you not financially secure? And it was actually pretty risky, but you just had to fucking do it. Um, mm-hmm. Did you set like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in that. I yeah. did a lot of people. Because I would say from there, you haven't looked back. You you took, like we were talking about in the beginning, it's like you took a three to six month run, you know, with no cell phone. You just, you just figured it out. And then now you're, <laughs> you know, now you're clear. Yeah, hundred percent. Was it scary and risky? Absolutely. Was it, was that a big reason on why I knew deep down I had to do it? Absolutely. And I think, I guess a, a piece of advice that I would share, like, while we're while we're broadcasting is this the the amount of tough conversations you can have with yourself but also others will directly play a part in the quality of life that you'll live and there was a huge conversation that i had to have that was extremely tough to even think about at the time which was having that conversation with my you know, then business partner to be like, hey, I'm actually feeling really shit. And and I know deep down, you know that I've been feeling this way for, for the last three, six months. And I actually want to leave this business, which also means we have to go through the logistical nightmare of like doing payouts and having to, you know, change like bank accounts. And, and then we have to like communicate that with our current clientele. So all of that came to mind and all of these things that I was like, processing and telling being like oh fuck if i well if i have this conversation then i have to have all these other conversations and then i was like you know creating this nightmare scenario in my head but thankfully at the time i you know i had a few people reach out to me for support and they were just there for me to to just hold space and just listen to how i was feeling and that played such a huge part in me actually taking the leap and having those tough conversations at the time which then like you said i haven't looked back 